Hey there, it's Eric from Aquanuga. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to go over some of the commonly used uh, plumbing valves that are going to be used in uh, pond and water feature installations. Uh, to explain what they are, what each one is, kind of how it's used, how it's connected. Um, so we're going to start with the most common, and that's going to be a ball valve. Um, the ball valves that we have are going to come two different ways. That's either uh, with a slip hub, the hub is made so the PVC will just be glued right inside of that. Or the smaller ones uh, are going to be an FPT, a female pipe thread. So with the most commonly way those are going to be used is with a male insert that threads into that. And then a vinyl tubing will just slip over the barbs on the other side of that fitting. Now ball valves are typically going to be used for flow control. Just turn the handle to reduce the flow that's allowed to be flowing through the valve through the pipe. Um, so this may be a case where we have a, a pump that is push, putting out just a little bit too much water, either too much for your waterfall or too much for another component like an ultraviolet light, and we just need to back the flow off a little bit. Uh, another instance where we might use a ball valve is if we're running water to multiple features off of one pump. That may be you know, two different waterfalls or a waterfall and a spitter or whatever the case may be. You'd have a T fitting installed and then on each leg of the T will be a ball valve so that you can regulate how much flow is going to each of your features. Uh, ball valves, uh, again, these are used for flow regulation because they are a little bit hard to turn and they should be. So that's, that's so that when you set it where you want it, you're not likely to bump it and, and have that uh, change on you. Now, a gate valve, these, it's just a little slide in here that opens it up, opens and closes. Uh, these can be bumped. So that's why we're typically going to use these on just a drain type installation where it's either fully open or fully closed, not trying to set it somewhere in between and leave it there. So this might be uh, set on a filter drain where you can just open that when you need to flush and clean that out and then close it back when you're done. These also, slip hub fitting, pipe, PVC pipe just gets glued into place there. And finally, the least commonly used, uh, but still very useful is going to be a check valve. This is a one-way valve. You can hear that little flapper going in there and that just allows the water to flow only one direction through the pipe. So that may be used in a, an installation where you don't want water, when your pump goes off, you don't want water flowing back down into the pump or into the skimmer, uh, holding water in that line, holding water in uh, an upper filter, something along those lines. Uh, it can also be used when we're running an external pump to help hold the prime on that pump. Also, simply glued into place, PVC slips right into the slip hub fitting. Uh, you do have to make sure when you're installing a check valve uh, that you install it the right direction so that the water is flowing. Uh, and, and there's little arrows on there that tell you how to do that. I hope that helps explain some of the valve basics. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.